Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to really two episodes five and six of Symphony G. Did I just say G? I meant Axis. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode five and three, two, one, go. Complicated, but the real question is, where is Maria, Kitty, and Chidobe? Where are they? Oh, you're fine. No, see, see, see. <laughs> Okay. We go on to talk about the elephant in the room. The blue. <laughs> he already had it. Maria, that girl, is now having it too. So there's so many unanswered questions. Are they finally going to talk about this blue aura? Or am I going to have to wait another two episodes after this? Because come on. I mean, you would have assumed we're, we're now officially, well, by episode six. We're going to be at the halfway point of this show. So, I mean... Hello. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I just want to know. I want to hurry up and know and find out so I can watch the final five episodes of the regular and magic high school and then watch the movie so I can make a movie, a, a, a video on it so I can try to have that out on Friday. It's, mm, I don't know. It's 419 in the afternoon and I'm just trying to get shit done so that I could do other stuff. It's complicated. But let me know. I need to know. Like, honestly, are we finally going to get the answer that I have been wanting? <laughs> like, what? I've been serving a wine. Please. <laughs> That's all I want. And then I think other girls are going to get it besides those two. Because, I mean, it's a little unfair if it's just those two. But I get it. But it would be nice for everybody in this group to get, like, equal. <laughs> Please. And Tiki. See, between your philosopher shown in this show and the philosopher shown in regular at magic school, what the freak? <laughs> I know there's two different things, but still. Mm -hmm. Lauren, we're going to talk about that. Not now, but we need to, please. Mm -hmm. Okay.
I got nothing to say about Tiki. I don't like him. I really don't. Adam just seems like the biggest douche. I'm sorry. Like, if I could, I'd kill him. He just seems like an asshole, too. Like, the type of guy. Who just wants to be there just to impress some fucking girl and you're just like I really don't have time to deal with you and your bullshit so like no like get the fuck out of my face You stupid for even going out there too. can't push yourself all the time now. But then what about you?
you have to try it. But then, Hannah, what if something happens to you? She read about that. Oh my god! Is Serena going to show up in this episode?
and there's I've got it. Mm. This feels so meta right now, like, I mean, I never would have imagined that this would have happened. But I don't want these two to be getting more development together because I love them so much. In a time like this. I mean, damn, is it like if she die, y'all die too? I mean, because I don't know if y'all y'all relationship is that good enough for me. Mm -mm. He became me because y'all are so gay and I fucking love it. I, I just can't with y'all sometimes. Like, oh my god. Like, y'all need to stop. I cannot. I mean, the relationship these two. <laughs> I mean, oh my god. I can't. Oh my god. Y'all like on and she holds the first one of mine. Oh my god. Except 
one of y'all is getting abused by someone to God and then trying to kill herself. But no, like, there's, like, the love that these two have for each other. Oh, my God. Like, it is so powerful. I just can't. It's too much sometimes. But the fact is that no matter what Hibiki goes through, like, Miku is there and just for a shoulder to lean on, to talk to anything. Oh, my God. I, I can't with these two. I love them so much. Jesus. Okay. There's so much that happened in this first half of the episode. I mean, I feel like Elf and Maria, they're going to be fine. But we're not going to see the conclusion of them until the next following episode. Um, Subas is already on her way. She's about to do all that ish by herself until everybody else comes. Of course, Kiwi and Shinobe, they're not going to be able to do anything because of certain things and linkers and shit like that. But I'm just like, oh, I don't know. I mean, at the same time, you still want them to, like, push themselves, but you don't want it to be serious as fuck. I mean, like, Maria pushed herself so much last week. And so, if, let's just say, hold on. Oh, I mean, that makes sense, though. Come on, God damn it. Like, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was thinking he was going to be good. Oh, my God. Are you? It's a big old fuck. That's what it is! <laughs> I thought it was gonna be fine. I thought he was going to have a talk to her about it. And be like, mm, here's the thing that you need. Like, oh my god, for you to be something of OP. No. I mean, you know, it's never really that easy. No matter what anime you're watching, you think it's gonna be easy, but then no, you have a whole different situation to get through. And then someone from your past, mysteriously, whether they're dead or not, comes back, and they're still evil, even though they were still they, like towards the last few moments before they died. We're turning good, and then just. Ugh. I'm glad that we went into Maria's subconsciousness and to learn a little bit about her past because. Ever since season two, I had still had so many questions about her and the situation. Come here, Cody. Um, and this, in a way, particularly answered it. I think there's still a lot of other things that I still want to know. Personally, would you come here? Over here. On my, le my left thigh. On my thigh. Over here. Right here. But honestly, I really... I'm not picking you up. I don't know as of right now. I mean, this is going to be a really... Um, challenging situation for her and then especially with the girls dealing with the other ish and so the fact is that Maria can't help because she is currently busy Kitty and Shitabay can't help so you know it is what it is you know but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you in one second for episode 6 okay episode 6 in 3, 2, 1 go Stomach, if you don't shut up, I know I'm hungry. I just want to finish this. I'll eat after. I'm gonna have popcorn while I watch the last five episodes of a regular American school. My spaghetti and spaghetti are gone. See, there's a point where I kind of wish Kitty and Shidabay could have also gone into Maria's subconsciousness because, yes, I get the fact that this is something that Maria and Elf, specifically more of Maria, has to do on her own. But it would have been nice, I'm just saying. I get the fact that, yes, you got to have certain characters do ish by your by themselves, Kitty Toe, but, you know, sometimes you need help, Kitty Toe. 
You can't do everything by yourself. I'm just saying you need help when you need help. That's why you need to have friends. I mean, I can't show God friends for shit. I mean, as of right now, because since there's no SAO this month, then we're going to have to wait longer. And I really want to know. And I'm never really truly going to give my answer because I can't get spoiled on that certain situation until it comes. But it is going to come or I'm going to be stupid and I'm just going to be like, fuck it. I'm just going to go on the internet and be like, why are keeping the eyes yellow? Which honestly, I don't think Google will be like, oh, they're yellow because. <laughs> but I don't know. <sighs> she needs help. Just help her, please. I'm so stupid. Oh my god. I really wish SAO was coming out this month, but no. I mean, I can wait longer. I'm not pissed. No. I'm sad. I'm not pissed at all. Yeah, so that you possibly have to go through him just to get to it. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think it would be right to fight your sister, at least. That is if you have to fight him. Oh my god, will you just stop speaking in reels and just give her the answer? As much as I want to see you keep the ass, I really just want to go back and focus on Maria because I, I want to know. I, like, seriously. <laughs> I get it. My BBB is the main character, but I'm like, what for one? I'm like, give me five seconds. Five minutes. Continue on, Maria, so we can see what it is. But see, didn't that feel a little too easy, though? I mean, because we know the alchemists, they're, they're around, they're coming, I mean, they're, they're just waiting until they defeat this thing, and then they're like, bam, pow, how you doing, bitch? Yeah, so in the end, that all the alchemists can go one on one with them. Mm. 
But then hold up, like what? Let's say like he he splits it in half. Isn't it gonna just like split a half again and again and again? But to the point where there's like there's too many of them for the three of them. I don't know. I just... Are you fucking kidding me? Like, seriously, there's no end to this. I think you're really, really, really deep in your subconsciousness. Hmm? But why would you want to lie to yourself? You're getting tired. All three of you are getting tired. There's no way in hell that y'all can keep going like this.
Oh. I mean, it's basically love and lying, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh -uh. You two aren't gonna make it in time to save your girlfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> Please go save your girlfriend, damn it. Not your girlfriend. Save your wife. The wife? <laughs>
So you're telling me Elf like found everything that quick, used it, and now we're just gonna go ahead and test it now? That was like what five minutes? No, I am. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm kidding, seven. So, but yeah, you're basically automatically telling me Elf wakes up, goes and said, "All right, rest up to you. Let me do this. You do everything else." Okay. Okay. It would have been nice if we would have actually got to see it, but no, I get it. It's not a really important scene. She just did it, you know, it was a deleted scene, but it would have been nice. I'm just saying. Thing for me would always be there to protect those two. <laughs> Shit. Do not end this on a cliffhanger. Do not end this on a cliffhanger. Because I got like what? I got two minutes. Two minutes. Don't do it. Don't. I swear to God. What is the word? Okay. Wait, guy. Be nice. Be nice. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Like, why? 
it was getting so good. And then you're just like, mm-hmm. Here's some information. Here's a cliffhanger. Wait till next week. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Like, especially leaving it like that. Oh my god. With like a big ass thing. I'm glad Maria and Elf were able to do what they were able to do because now Maria, Katie, and Sheena Bay, they're, I'm not going to say, they never really were useless because they still used the linker and their bodies as much as they could until it was the point where it's like the commander literally is like, uh uh, just like stop. Because if they did continue using it, they could have possibly died at the end of the day, no matter what. I will say this, and I haven't said this, and I kind of was going to wait until the end of the series to say this, but fuck it, I'm going to say it now. The commander for really all of these girls is a better father figure than their actual fathers. I mean, Jesus. Like, we already know he became dad as shit. Um, well, we really, really didn't know that much about Chris's dad, so I can't really put him in that situation. Subasa's fuck him, honestly. I mean, seriously, like, I just want to beat the crap out of that man, that old man, like, fuck him, some bitch. Um, Maria, Shakiti, and Shinobi, they really didn't have a father figure. The, their father figure was, in a way, also mom. That's the thing. That was both. She was the role of the mother and the father and took care of them. Even though we got to see the backstory on Maria and Serena, and I kind of wish that they did something on for Kitty and Shida and Shida Bay because we're almost done with this show, and those two really haven't gotten as much backstory as Maria has. Maria has so much backstory to it. It's like, oh my god, I feel like I somewhat know everything I need to know about her. But with Kitty and Chitabe, it's like nothing. I want to know what they were like when they were kids. They had to be tested as well, just as much as Maria and Serena. And it's just like, why aren't they showing that? I mean, they're Still, these six girls are all the most important characters into this series, and you've given me everything on Hibiki, Tsubasa, Chris, Maria, but not those two, and so it makes you feel a certain type of way. It's like how any, it's like any anime that I've watched in the past, from like Sailor Moon as a kid up until now, where they take a certain amount of characters, let's say it's six, let's say it's ten, or even twenty, and you give half of that cast the best character development ever. And then you give the other half shit. And then you're sitting here. It's like, oh my god, you can give these characters like that front burner, that time to shine and everything. And you choose not to. And that's what it feels like with these two. Because it's like, oh my god, you could ask me. Like, <laughs> like you could give me answers on this, this, that, and the third about these two. But no, it's just like, hmm. You're kind of basically telling me they're not important, but they are important to this series. They're just as important as everybody else in this, but the way it's going, and this has been on my mind ever since season two with these two, even though, yes, you gave me flashbacks with them, but not enough. And that's why I'm like, I just feel a certain type of way. I'm like, yeah, like everybody else is getting it, except these two, and they deserve the world. These two are so freaking precious, and I love them so freaking much, but it's like, Oh my god, like seriously, why? It is so freaking, it's rude, it's messed up, but I get the fact of why people do it. I mean, I can't, I can't, because then it's like, oh my god, this is why I wish sometimes with certain series, they had like a novel. And then, okay, like, here's, like, a side story or something. Or, like, a spinoff. Or just, like, a little one-shot OVA that you can see, like, have. And be like, here's everything that you need to know about this character and such. Because they're not going to put everything that is important for someone. But it would have been nice. It would have been nice. But it's just, no. No. Flat out, no. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to this episodes five. And six of Simple Gear Access. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the National Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes seven and eight. I'm going to go finally watch the five episodes of a regular at Magic High School just to see how this ends because I'm, I'm still I'm a little pissed about this and I need to kind of calm down. So I need to watch these final five episodes so that I can go ahead and watch the movie. Me, and so I could finally do a video on that. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!